um, reasonable and um, I think you will find it very interesting. So looking ahead at the next seven to 10 days, what are the energies that are coming up? Um, always coming up, I know I've been talking a lot about this, but always coming up is the need to take a breath, um, take a break, and whatever that means to you. Um, maybe it's you get a massage, maybe it's you schedule coffee with a friend, maybe it's you lay down for five minutes and take a nap or an hour or a half hour or do a meditation or yoga, or whatever you guys are into, or read a book. Definitely focus is still on a breath and break. Um, we have these voices in our heads. The odd thing is, and we'll be talking about this in some things, is some of it is mind control, some of it is programming, and some of it is you, and some of it is your ego. And so sorting out all those voices can get rather crazy, but it's important that we take time to do that. This is a time to kind of go through and scan all the voices in your head. Is this my voice? Um, is this mind control? Is this someone else's voice? Is this even me? Does this even sound like me? Does this feel like me? Does this resonate with who I am being? And, and does this resonate with my aura? Uh, whatever. By the way, if you'd like a free gift, we are offering uh, chakra scans for first time clients. And that is available, obviously, on the website. Most of you who will be watching this are probably not first time clients, but you never know. Um, the sun in Aquarius is all about new. I hope you guys can feel the energy. It's so funny because it hasn't been sunny at all here in beautiful North Carolina where it is so beautiful and so warm. It just hasn't been so sunny. But new hope, new energy, a little bit what I would call the quickening. So a little bit of a quicker energy, but not full force, not full force supporting you. It's time to be have the awe moment, the aha, I see, oh, I get it. So it's the clicking in. I want you to see the next week kind of as a clicking in in preparation for what? Like we always talk about, in preparation for action. We want to see you taking action. We want to support you in your success, in your personal life, in clearing out your home and your clutter, in running through your emotions, in beating up your spiritual protection for spiritual warfare, in creating the flow of wealth and abundance or relationships relationships or career change or building your business. We want to support you in those aha moments that lead into action, that lead into change. Not just a mystical experience that's one and done, but permanent, radical, bright light change. It's time to step a little bit out of that introspection. So you go through the introspection. Whose voices is this? What can I do? Where am I going? And then I want you to step out of that and take actions. And that becomes your new beginning. What's next for you? So we can sit here and talk about what could be next for you. And we will be having a call in February focusing on love and life, uh, kind of a quick, more reasonably priced, uh, which is always appealing, a reading call that we're going to go through and, and find out maybe what's next for you on your timelines and on your parallel timelines and what's coming in. But overall, I really encourage you guys not maybe to participate in that call and to use your own intuition. So what's next for you? Use your intuition, which of course is why we're going to have advanced classes like Intuition Mastered and the Magic of Intuition, which actually is the beginning class into Intuition Mastered. Um, <clears throat> we will put the link below when it's available, like I said. So money is coming up, energy of money. People are really scrambling. I've noticed for money, a lot of practitioners that come to you, energy healers and various people, people that consult me for their businesses are like, ah, January, tax time, tax season, inventory, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. Everything's kind of revolving around Monday. Money. Um, Monday, you can tell it's Monday, <laughs> money, Monday, uh, projects. So all these kind of unfinished projects, things that were in current energy last year, and they're like, ah, I didn't get it finished, it's not in current energy, let it go. If you force a project that's not in current energy or in old energy or 2016 energy through, it may net you something, but it's not gonna be super successful. It's true with relationships, it's true with where you're living, it's true with health decisions, it's true in everything that you're doing. I wanna make this really, really practical for you. I'm gonna be trying to do more energy updates because frequency and energy is super practical. Waking up to your own intuition and your own gifts and walking in your power is absolutely relevant every single second of your day and absolutely relevant to your life at all times. Um, more energy that's coming up to pay attention to in the next seven to 10 days is to continue to heal yourself, work on yourself, clear fear, clear blockages that are in your body, that are in your energy field, that are in your emotions, in your, in your mind. Sometimes you guys go into resistance, I go into resistance, and we get stuck. We get stuck in the energy of resistance. Keep moving, keep moving through. Sometimes things come up, you're like, I'm feeling really uncomfortable. 
guess what? Sometimes it's really important to feel really <laughs> uncomfortable and to stay there until you figure out a way out or until it dissolves. Sometimes those are the most brilliant opportunities for up-leveling and expansion. Slow and steady, slow and steady wins the race within this energy before it speeds up. Um, don't rush into decisions, don't rush into changes, but definitely investigate, do your research, start taking action. Um, the energy this year, as far as an overall energy update, and I probably will try to do an overall yearly for this year, 2017 energy update, the energy as a whole is kind of going to be a spurt, so it's going to be like really cool, really smooth, everything's wonderful, and then it's going to kind of crash out. We'll have a few breaths in between, we're kind of in one of those right now. Um... So more breath and movement. I want you to start taking movement, but I still want you to be in that quiet time, not in your head, just quiet time. Quiet time is not necessarily self-analyzing or running things. Sometimes it just is being, the isness of being, and that's it. And profound things can come to you in that space. And in about a week, a couple days, four, five, six, seven days, uh, the energy is going to get a lot faster. Clear thinking is coming in. Clear thinking. Not cloudy thinking. Not judgmental thinking. Not crazy thinking. Not schizo thinking. Clear thinking. Clear. Pure. Strong. Powerful. Listen to the things that you know. What do you know today? What is so clear to you today? Write that down, start taking action steps on that. Make it happen. Is your year already looking? We're, we're one month down. Wow, can you guys, we're one month down in the new energy of 2017. One month is gone. Is your year looking the way you'd like it to look? Is your home looking the way you'd like it to look? Is your business, your relationships, your body, your inside peace, is it looking the way you'd like it to look? If not, change it. Move toward change. All positive energy, though. There's, you, despite all this blither blather I just talked about, it's going to be really positive, uplifting, nice, supportive energy for the rest of the month. Um, you know, we're in a little bit of a metamorphosis process still. So even though you shed the skin, you're becoming this new you, you're becoming this new being, you're stepping into your power, you've learned so much, you're still kind of cleaning up the messy parts that you didn't look at, that you didn't pay attention to. And this is the time for still kind of clearing up crystallization of all of that gathering and simplifying. Um, yeah. I love this. It's my new thing. Um, minimal luxury. You know, there's this big movement toward minimalism. We've been talking about it in Ultimate Awakening. And I'm not really about minimalism. I'm not only about having like a 2,000 square foot house with nothing in it, like get rid of the house, get a tiny house at that point. But... I'm about minimal luxury. What do you love? What pictures do you love? What paintings do you love? What furniture do you love? What fixtures do you love? What paint do you love? What books do you love? What classes do you love? What friends do you love? What cars do you love? You guys get the idea. What restaurants do you love? What stores do you love? Why would you spend your hard-earned money going to a restaurant you don't love? But we do it, right? We do it out of habit. Why do we go to Starbucks? Because everybody said it has the most amazing coffee. I'm not even a coffee connoisseur, and Starbucks does not have the most amazing coffee. So my point is, stop doing things out of habit. Pull back and say, does this feel luxurious? And then what could I be using? Because money is time and energy, right? What could I be using that time and energy for? Could I be giving to buying bikes? We're going to be doing this really cool thing in Ultimate where we're, we're going to contribute together as a group. Uh, we just did another project, so I'm going to wait a while. But... Uh, we're going to contribute as a group to purchasing bikes for uh, women and girls and maybe boys, I'm not sure, in some other countries. And the bike just opens up a whole new world. Would you rather do that than drink your overpriced not-too-great coffee or going to eat at McDonald's, not saying you guys eat at McDonald's, or having eight drinks with friends? Maybe you can get away with two drinks with friends. But it's becoming really conscious about every single choice we make. Money is not evil. Money is not bad. Uh, some of the energy of money we can get into other things is kind of dicey, but uh, money can be used for massive, massive amounts of good. And I'm not saying you even have to give it away. I'm saying if you are going to put time and effort, if your husband's wives, whoever's supporting you, your grandparents, maybe some of you inherited a lot of money, people traded their lives for this money. There is this energy exchange that is owed, that is honoring, that actually increases wealth and abundance. When you honor money, money honors you. When you 
honor the energy of the sacrifice and time, whether of yourself or of others, um, it honors you. I just want you to become very, very conscious to what feels good and not react in a program knee-jerk reaction this year. Um, information will be clearer this year. All of a sudden you'll be like, oh my gosh, I've been listening to this for three years. Now I completely understand. Direction will be clearer. Should I move? Should I not move? Should I do this? Should I not do this? Should I go on vacation here? Should I stay away from here? You will just start to know. Information will be a lot clearer this year. I'm just looking at my notes so I want to make sure. Um, yeah, this is how this stuff comes in. So I was like, ah, uh, figure it out. You have all the tools present to continue to live in creation this year. So you will be able to figure it out. You will be able to rely more on yourself. You will have to rely less and less on the outside interpretation of your reality and be able to accurately predict and create your own reality. And I think that's darn amazing. So that's the energy of this week. I hope you have an amazing week. Uh, if you have any questions, you can drop it down for those in Altimeter. You can drop it down if I put this up on YouTube. And we will be releasing a couple of new things. We're going to have that call I told you about in February. And we're going to be uh, releasing. I'm so excited. It's going to be such a fun class. So profound. So fun. I'm even throwing in a bonus remote beginning remote viewing, which I've never done. So I'm really excited about that for those of you that decide to join the magic of intuition, which is a prelude to Intuition Mastered, which is the practitioner level. So I love you guys and I will talk to you soon.